Hello, this quick video is going to show you how the fast countdown plugin works. When you're on a page, you're going to see an icon in the tiny MCE editor. If you click this icon, you can choose two different countdown types. So one is for visitors and one is to a certain date. And I'm going to go through both of these quickly for you. So the visitors one, you can set a duration like example here, or you can just uh, shorten it down to however minutes or hours or whatever. So we could do a uh, 24 hours and then we can set a redirect URL. This can be the page your visitors are taken to after the countdown timer has finished. And if you don't want to set a redirect, you can just leave that empty. And this box is for setting a loop. So you could actually have a loop. So the countdown timer loops once it gets to zero. And then this is the display style. So we have three styles, very simple styles. That is a days and then the countdown timer is a, like a stopwatch. This has abbreviation for the days and hours and minutes and seconds. And then this has days, hours, minutes, seconds. So we're going to use uh, the bottom one here. So that's style number three. So when we've added the shortcut, you can see here elements of it can be changed. So we could change the time here. We could change the URL here. We can set with the loops on or off and we can change the display style from one of those three options. But if we quickly preview this, so if I just update this page and I'll just click on that link. And you can see the countdown time has started here. Now, if you are a admin user, whenever you refresh that page, the countdown timer will start again. However, if you're a visitor to the website and you're not logged in as admin, the countdown timer will start and then whenever you revisit that page, the countdown timer will basically start where you left off. Well, not where you left off, it'll just continue counting down. So that basically the, the countdown timer is cookie to your visitor and it, once it gets to zero, they could come back in a couple of hours, it will reduce by a few hours. Once it gets to zero, the action that you've added, say it's a redirect, it will happen or whether it loops. So that you can forward your visitors from that page if the countdown reaches zero. Now I'll quickly show you the other timer. So we'll get rid of this and we'll go for the date timer. So here we can just add a date. We can just co copy that format basically. So month, date, year. And then the actual time in the universal time code. But I'm just going to leave the time off because, and then it will just default to your server time. And again, we've got the end redirect URL and then the hours, minutes, seconds. So we'll choose a second type and we can update that. As you can see here, the countdown time is counting down to the date that you specified. If you've added the action for the end URL, you will be taken there once the timer reaches zero. And we can actually add a more than one timer to the page as well. So we could set up a short code for visitors alongside the countdown timer to the date. So we could have a 15 second countdown that's on a loop and we'll select display style one. And if we add a little bit of text at the end, And we give the page a little bit of formatting. And now if we revisit this page, you can see the date timer is there. And now we've got the countdown timer to the next price increase. So if you're running a dime sale, you could have a Dime sale running for four days, five days, and then you've got the countdown timer for the dime sale showing when the price is going to go up as well. So we could have the price increasing by a penny every 15 seconds. This would add some more buying pressure to your four day sale. 